Now College. Today I'm going to talk about emotion in art, especially painting. Painting is not a tool to be projected by putting it into patterns. We don't need to explain ourselves anyway when we paint. We can also show our emotions only by driving. For example, this work by Francis Bacon was painted in memory of Bacon Flower. Portrait of memory before Dyer died of pill overdose in their hotel rooms. Francis described the 1973 tripti as entry exorcism of feeling of fuse and guilt. You don't have to spare your understanding of painting to understand this work. Just looking at the painting, you can understand the, the pain, the sadness, and terrible feeling it gives. Many artists express their feelings with the paintings they make. They don't just have to show their feelings. They can express their social, political, and even religion view through their own paintings. For instance, Leonardo da Vinci, The Last Supper, drawn when drawn in the church of Santa Maria della Grazia to decorate a wall of prized dining hall. This painting is a best book painting. The fact that Jesus' face is beautiful and Jesus' face is ugly is the greatest indication of this work. We see Jesus and his 11 disciples sit at the table having a conversation over dinner. Prophet Jesus was drawn when he said, one of you will betray me. And he painted expression on the faces of the apostles, such as fate, doubt, fear. According to the biblical sentence, the hand of the one who's, who betrays me is at the table with me. Judas is the only person whose hand is at the table. The work reflects the dramatic moment when Jesus reveals to his disciples that one of them will soon be revealed to have betrayed him. At the Last Supper, Jesus and his apostles drank wine from Holy Grail and ate bread. However, the fact there is no bowl and bread with wine in the picture has been a matter of debate uh, in Christian world for years. The fiction of the painting it contains a great problem of anachronism. So what is anachronism? Anachronism should be considered as the separation of the persons, object, or events from the real time, space, and place in a different framework. As of the date he lived, it is not possible for Prophet Jesus and his disciples sit at the table and eat. The main purpose of the painting is not image, but feeling given. For example, why do we buy a painting? Because it animates, in, animates something inside of us. So you don't have to be very skilled to painting. If you can give the feelings you feel, it's an art. For instance, surrealism has been interpreted as a subconscious mind sandbox. A recreation a childishness, and an expression of Catalan pride. In painting, images and colors have meanings. Gives meaning what you want to say. For example, the creation of Adam by Michelangelo Buonarroti. Michelangelo had a great interest in human anatomy. In 2019, two American neurosciences found that the brain image in Hidden India Michelangelo works the creation of Adam. In fact, there were clearly hidden sections not only in external environment, but also in the throat and chin of the depiction of God in the internal structure. Many art theorists believe that Michelangelo added his work to oppose Cleason's contempt for science. According to the films on humanity through his years, painting also has a very important place in psychology. Picture analysis tests give us a lot of tips for people's mental health and are still widely used today. So what does the painting make me feel? An activity I do to clear my head when something gets stuck in my head and to convey my feelings. And I want to tell you about a painting I made. In painting, there is a feeling of loneliness, helplessness, and existential anxiety. I drew the black in the painting with the idea of telling the real self that he wanted to remove 
only in the silhouette, but he could not remove. Uh, without that, he would be pressured, worried, judged. Well, if you were to draw a painting, what would you like to say?